Time to go viral. viral. I'm homicidal. I'm killing all my rivals. Yeah. I'm the man. Should I put that on the Bible? I'm gotta find my target because you know I got the title. Woo. Hey, I'm a Mac Joe. Mac I told Joe. baby, shake that ass like she Apple. Oh. She said it's real, so she got my name tattooed. Yeah. House full, so I hit it in the back room. Ow. Whoa, baby. baby said she needed now. Peep the urgency. urgency. I want a little Kim before she had the surgery. Mm. Leg spread on that hardcore poster. She loved twerking. She just do it for the coach. For the coach. Big dog, big dog, bull mask. Bull mask. Six Trey Chevrolet, I'm classic. Yeah. All these niggas mad at me, that's tragic. So the main bitch in the bed, that's graphic. Yeah, we about to go viral. Go viral. Hey, hey, hey. We about to go. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal, people? Back at it. The one and only Mr. Viral himself, aka the villain, because they hate me for my opinion, man. I'm finna go villain mode. You know, we gotta talk about this. This Marlon Wayne, DJ Vlad, fiasco. We done told y'all about Vlad a long time ago. We done literally had not whole episodes, but we done had topics about Vlad. Back when Tyrese was saying, oh, we need to team up and go against Vlad. We need to stick together. Whoopie bam. Niggas didn't listen. Back when Lord Jamar got into it with Vlad, niggas didn't listen. Back when Joe Budden got into it with Vlad, niggas didn't listen. What do we have? Oh, matter of fact, not even just that. When he did the out-of-pocket shit with the professor from Harvard, they got into the little debate. And he talking about, yeah, I'm going to call your job, get you fired, whoop, whoop, whoop. Niggas didn't listen. It's like this nigga keeps stepping on niggas' toes, shitting on the culture, and niggas keep giving him a pass. Niggas keep giving these vultures a pass. We got to call these niggas what they is, because, like, it ain't no more sugar coating. It ain't no more beating around the bush. These niggas is culture vultures, cuz these Vlads, these Adam 22s, these niggas is vultures, gang. Like, he got rich off our culture. He got rich off of displaying our culture. Now, props to him for having enough know how, enough whatever he had to start his platform, right? We can't take that away from him. He was smart enough to start the platform. But without us, there's no platform. Without the artists that he constantly disrespects, there's no platform. Without the actors that he constantly disrespects, there's no platform. So we got him famous. Our culture gave him the clout. And he got a God complex where he started feeling like he's bigger than the culture, like he's bigger than the program. He's a fucking guest. And that's how niggas got to start treating that nigga. He feel comfortable because my man, boss man, he said, I don't understand why he feels so comfortable disrespecting us. I'm going to tell you why. Because niggas keep going over there anyways. Despite the disrespect, niggas keep going over there anyways. So first of all, let's break down why he even got a tour with Marlon Wayans, right? So he hit up Marlon for an interview, apparently. Marlon give him a price. Marlon tell him, hey, it's 40 bands. It's 40,000 for an interview. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up the line for y'all. He tell him it's 40,000 for an interview. Vlad jump online and start disrespecting Marlon. Telling him he's a has-been. He ain't been cracking since Wooty Bam. However many years ago, he talking about he turned down his $40,000 offer, and he wasn't even going to make that $40,000 back. Marlon don't bring in that many views. He start talking about his his uh, Breakfast Club interview got more views than Marlon Wayne's. Basically disrespecting Marlon Wayne's whole legend. Because let's just be real, it don't matter how relevant you want to say Marlon is today. He's forever cemented in history. First of all, he's a fucking Wayne's brother. Like that's a legendary family in Hollywood. That's a legendary family in the culture. You can't erase history, nigga. You can't erase history, Vlad. It don't matter if he ain't been popping since White Chicks, if he ain't been popping since the Wayne Brothers TV show. It happened. It's etched in history. You know what I'm saying? I'm not caping for Marlon in no way. Marlon is a grown man. This is more about 
defending our culture because Marlon is a part of the culture whether we like it or not. The Wayne's family is a part of the culture whether we like it or not. So if we let these fucking outsiders that we allow to come in our culture to disrespect the culture, we know better than them. So every time some shit like this happen, we got to step on these motherfucking vultures and put these motherfuckers back in their place. Yeah, you got a platform. Yeah, you made a way for yourself. But nigga, you're still a guest. If we stop coming on that platform, that platform ceases to exist. It doesn't exist no more. What is Vlad TV without his black guests? It doesn't exist. What, what notable white guest gets on Vlad? Nobody except for old mob bosses who turn rap and they can't get interviews nowhere else. Them the only white guests that he had is old white mob dropouts, mafia dropouts. But other than that, notable white actors, notable white singers, rappers, producers, directors, they don't come get on Vlad. He eats off of niggas. So without niggas, he don't have a platform. So they get online disrespect the culture yet again disrespect another icon in the culture yet again all because the man named his fucking price mind you he can name whatever price he want anybody can black can hit you up right now for an interview you can tell him i need 100 bands it's either you're gonna pay me or you're not all he had to do was like look bro i don't think you were 40 and move on but to jump on a public platform is crazy he's literally only relevant because of us Literally, that's it. That's all. If we don't get on the platform, this platform ain't relevant. If Boosie don't get on this platform and go viral, he's not relevant. Lord Jamar was keeping them viral. He, uh, uh, They got into it. He replaced them with Boosie. Before Boosie, he had Godfrey on there. Him and Godfrey got into it. Replaced them with Boosie. So it's like he always got to keep a nigga attached to him to stay relevant. He can't be relevant on his own. If DJ Blast starts getting in front of that camera and talking just him, his platform is over, bro. It's cooked. It's a wrap. If he start bringing his people on, it's a wrap. Nobody's watching that shit. We only tuning in because we like the artist that's getting on there. That's it. That's all. And even when they get on there, you disrespecting them niggas. You asking them police ass questions that could get them caught in a twist. These niggas come on here high. They be off pills, all type of shit. Now they are grown. And they are accountable for the way they answer. But why would you even invite somebody to your platform to try to get them caught in the twist? Like, how many of these niggas done got fed cases after they came on your platform? This is why niggas start calling you the feds. But I blame niggas for that because y'all got up there and told on yourself. But to keep it uh, on topic, that nigga is a cancer to the culture. Period, point blank. You want to pay a fucking legend like Marlon Wayans $10,000 you're going to do a three-hour interview. You're going to have a, a hundred million clips. And you're going to make however many thousands off that motherfucking interview. Because whatever you paying him to come on, you're going to make triple that. Like, come on, cuz. We content creators. We know how this shit works. You're going to make triple that. You're going to break down that three-hour interview into 35 clips. Then after you eat off the 35 clips, you're going to release the whole interview in its entirety and eat off that shit again. But you want to pay him fucking peanuts. Like, come on, cuz. That was like a respectful way of saying, I really don't fuck with your platform, but i do it if you pay me the high. You could have just said no and got on. But I'm, I'm, I'm tired of biting my tongue with these vultures, cuz. I was trying to be too politically correct in the beginning, man. Fuck that. These niggas is vultures. We got to call it out, cuz. Point blank, period. We could replace these niggas. I keep telling niggas, we don't need Vlad. We don't need the app. We don't need none of them motherfuckers. We got enough platforms now to where we could be the platforms. Point blank, period. All them goddamn Vlad interviews that y'all doing, come over to the viral way. Go over to Fig Community. Go over to Community. Go over to the Ace Boys. Like, it's a lot of platforms that y'all could go do interviews on and get the same clout because y'all bringing the clout. The artist is bringing the clout. Vlad's not bringing the clout, cuz. His platform's not bringing the clout. His platform has the following that it has because you niggas keep getting on there. You niggas bringing the followers. Oh, he got 3 million followers. If I go fuck with my people, they only got 100,000. Yeah, because you won't, you don't go over there. Y'all don't go over there. If y'all start going over there, guess what? We'll have the same 3 million followers because now the traffic is going to come through our channels instead of Vlad channels, instead of the culture vulture channels. Now, the money they making off of y'all 
we're making and we're breaking bread with each other. But you niggas is too narrow minded to think that way. Y'all want the instant gratification. Oh, give me the 10,000 now. Meanwhile, he make 100,000 off your fucking interview and paid you 10. You don't got no residuals, no nothing. Like, come on, cuz. And Marlon, niggas gonna stand up for you because you're from the culture. Regardless of that whole little LGBT shit you did, I wasn't really feeling that. But we got to stand for each other. Because guarantee, if you say something about Jewish people, Vlad's not bringing you on his platform. Vlad is not bringing you on his platform. If you say something bad about Jewish people, Vlad ain't bringing you on his platform. How do I know? Because he did it with Lord Jamar. Lord Jamar gave his honest opinion on how he feel when that whole Jewish and Kanye shit was going on and Kyrie shit was going on. What Vlad do? Oh, apologize that you can't come back on the platform. Apologize for my opinion? Nigga, fuck you. Fuck you and your platform. Like, what you mean? And every nigga should have took that same stance and x that nigga out the game when he did that shit. But what do niggas do? Oh, well, fuck it. Cut pain. Niggas will sell out the culture for the bag. But to disrespect somebody like Marlon Wayne's is crazy. First of all, Vlad has a God complex thinking he has the clout of the people that he brings on. Nigga, you don't have the clout of the people you bring on. They're the ones with the clout. They're the ones with the motion. Niggas don't give a fuck about nothing you be on there talking about. Because that nigga be on there arguing like his opinion really matter. Like, nigga, just ask the questions and let these niggas answer. Niggas don't give a fuck about your opinion on nothing. He always try to make himself seem smarter than the people who come on there because he really got a, a superiority complex where he really think niggas is dumb because a lot of these rap niggas are dumb, but in his mind, black people are dumb. And you can hear it in his responses when we get on this platform and how he talk down to niggas. But then when you get these ex-mob niggas like Michael Frenzy or or uh, who else he had on there. Like, go look up any of the interviews where he have the mob niggas on there. The dropouts and shit. He talked to them with respect. He don't down talk them. He talked to them like he honors their opinions. But when we get on this platform, he talked down like niggas don't know what they talking about. This nigga be arguing to death. Like, nah, you don't know what the fuck you talking Like, niggas just don't got a brain. That's why I don't fuck with Vlad. You can see the inner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I can see it. Yeah, I can see the IG reaction. I just don't be looking at that shit while I'm live. Let me see what you're talking about. We can replace them. It's hard for us to support each other. It's nothing to become another Vlad. Jermaine, you right, bro. It's nothing for us to become another Vlad. Anybody that has a platform from our culture can be the next Vlad. Easily. If Lil Boosie start coming through the viral way, we the next one. Like, it's literally that simple. All he does is pay niggas. They come through. They go viral. That brings traffic to the channel. So it's not even Vlad making this shit happen because half the interviews, he's not even there. He got a whole nother team that be doing interviews on top of that. Or the nigga don't get on camera, no nothing. So... It's literally you bringing the traffic to the channel, the stars. So I don't know how niggas don't see that by now because this shit happened over and over again. We go to his platform. We give him the clout. He turn around and say, fuck niggas. And now niggas is mad. Talking about we should boycott Vlad. But y'all done already blew this nigga up. Boycott what? You done did 50 interviews with the nigga. After he showed you he don't fuck with niggas. After that Lord Jamar shit, we talking about, yeah, apologize for what you said about the Jews or you can't get back on the platform. Niggas should have said, fuck his platform then. When he pulled the shit with Tyrese, niggas should have said, fuck his platform then. Like, how many niggas do he got a shit on before niggas be like, you know what, one band, one sound. You fuck with one of us, you fuck with all of us. But see, niggas don't have that mindset. Niggas got that self-hate mindset like, shit, I'm glad Vlad ain't fuck with him. Now I got the motion. I can get on Vlad. That's how niggas really be thinking. We're going to get it together one day. The viral way, we're here to lead the way. But for the people who was wondering how I felt about Vlad, he's just another vulture, bro. He's another vulture eating off the culture. We made that nigga pop. We got that nigga famous. We got that nigga lit. We got his platform lit. He's not lit. 
Boss man, Alo, he said, I live in Dallas, born and raised. It's the same with Mexicans, Chinese, Arabs. Everybody want to grab our dicks. No diddy. No, that's a fact. That's a super fact. I remember back when Vlad didn't even do interviews. He just had Vlad TV. It was a website like uh, World Star. Same shit. What did he do? He posted all nigga content. That's all he did. Anything that was popping in the rap game, he went and posted that shit. Now, whatever work he put in in the streets as a DJ, I'm not going to take that from me. I'm not going to knock him for that. I'm not even going to knock him for wanting to be a part of the culture. But when you start thinking you bigger than the culture or you bigger than the program, that's when your ass need to get DP. And shitting on somebody like Marlon Wayans publicly because he gave a price. Like, how crazy is that? A nigga's telling you, this is what I feel I'm worth. If you don't feel I'm not worth that, don't pay that. But you're going to shit on me publicly for making my price? But you trying to give me a price. You came to me with a price. You trying to lowball me and my legend. I didn't jump out there publicly, or he didn't jump out there publicly like, oh, this bitch-ass nigga Vlad trying to give me 10K. Nigga, I'm Marlon Wayans. I'm part of the Wayans family. I done had my own TV show, my own movies, this, that. I done brought $180 million to the box office. Nigga, how many millions you brought to the box office? Zero, because you ain't never been there. So regardless of the fact, if you think a nigga is relevant or not, you can't take that legendary status. Period. What happened? See, that's what's wrong with these niggas. These niggas be trying to erase history. Like, history didn't happen. Nigga, you cannot erase that history. A nigga had his own TV show for seasons on a major network. A nigga was in box office movies that generated millions of dollars. Bro, you get in front of a camera and interview niggas. It's like, it's not the same, fool. Like, it's not the same, bro. You're not the legend that you think you is. You don't you don't got the weight that you think you got. And niggas need to remind you of that. These fucking boosies and all these niggas who frequent your platform. I don't know if they do or they don't, but publicly, I ain't seen them do it. But they need to get on your ass publicly the same way you try to get on Lord Jamar ass when he made the comment about the Jews and shit. Niggas need to be on your ass. Like, hold on, nigga, you a guest, nigga. Don't act like you own this, nigga. We, you here because we allow you to be here. Period. Nah, exactly, Jermaine. He's only relevant because of us. And he's like a divisive type nigga. You get on there, he want to talk about your ops. He want to talk about, oh, yeah, such and such said this about such and such. So you could say, oh, man, fuck such and such. And now his interview go viral. And now we got more beef. Like, come on, cuz. Niggas got to wake up, fool. I ain't going to sit here and rant all night about this nigga, but... Y'all got to wake up. These culture vultures like Vlad, these fucking, you, you know who the vultures is. I ain't going to say them niggas' names, but we see it. Niggas got to wake up one day, though. One band, one sound. We here to lead the way. The motherfucking viral way. Oh, hey, on God. See, I knew somebody out there would catch it. He be spooked of them mob niggas, bro. He be scared of them mob niggas. Whether they dropouts, rats, whatever. He be talking to them with the utmost respect. But then niggas get on there. He disrespect nigga, whole legend. Like you not shit. Like you the dirt beneath his feet. Which is ironic because you he needs you to eat. Because without you, he don't have no platform. It's like, cuz we done heard a million mob stories. Niggas ain't finna keep watching that shit. And the niggas who, the people who like the mob, excuse me, the people who fuck with the mob, they not really trying to listen to no dropouts or no fucking rats like that. That's why he don't be having a lot of them on like that. But he keep us on. He keep boosting in rotation. Here, sign this contract. Because he know without that, he has no motion. It's over with. Imagine Vlad with no guests. Who's watching that shit? Nobody. Vlad can't sit in front of a camera like this and get people to watch. Guaranteed niggas is clicking off. Niggas don't want to hear nothing he got to say. So the sooner niggas realize we got the power, we hold the keys, the sooner we'll be in position. It just takes for niggas to stop being blinded by the money and the fame and the clout. Once you stop idolizing certain shit and put your morals back intact, you can take the power back. Once people can't dangle a carrot in front of your face, you can hold the power. If a nigga say, I got 10,000 for an interview, and you like, so what? I'm not taking 10. 
I don't give a fuck about that 10,000. He now has no leverage, which is why he's mad at Marlon because he's used to having the leverage. He's used to telling niggas, hey, I got 5,000. Oh, shit, you got five bands for it? Oh, you got two million subscribers? Niggas quick to run up there. He hit a nigga like Marlon. He tried to hit him with the same play. Hey, I got 5,000. Nigga like, what? Nigga, I need 40. Or we can't even talk. We can't sit down and, and have lunch. With nigga, I need 40K. That really hurt his ego. That's what it was because he's so used to feeding niggas breadcrumbs and niggas being happy and dancing for the breadcrumbs. The fact that somebody had the audacity to tell him no and come with their own price, his ego was hurt because he feels like, nigga, the audacity of you, you just a nigga. You should be taking what I give you. That's how you really feel about niggas. So I don't even know why niggas keep going over there unless you you hitting them for the high that's the only thing that makes sense to me if you hitting him for the high then cool go get your bread but if you letting him lowball you you're fucking goofy you could yeah for sure but yeah man y'all share like subscribe to the channel man new episode coming soon we'll be back in the studio this weekend messiah out the country right now but we got new content coming soon, so y'all stay tuned, man. The viral way. We out of here. Bang.